Alright guys, it's Anaru, and I'm bringing you guys another Reach gameplay. This time it's Squad Slayer DMRs from Powerhouse. And I'm going to be speeding up the first little bit of this gameplay. Just simply because when I played this match, there wasn't a lot going on for about the first minute and a half. There's a couple host switches, and people were camping and all kinds of things. And it's just not that exciting or to watch. It's frankly pretty boring, so that's why I'm speeding it up until it actually starts to get into the killing. But... Mainly what I wanted to do with this commentary is go over the new team where I kind of put out the new team video. Uh, it was the CTF5, MOG CTF5 on Countdown. And I'll put a link here somewhere for that gameplay if any of you guys haven't seen that yet. But it's not a completely new team. Uh, Reckless Legend, Shared Mercury, and myself are still a part of it. But what happened was, is our original Game Battles team, we had six people on it. Uh, we had our main four and then two alternates. But we always had the problem where we couldn't get a, four, a team of four on to any ever play any Game Battles. And, you know, our alternates were usually off playing other games or just not online. And we had the one problem where the main guy would, was never online either. Uh, part of the you know starting lineup that was one of those guys that was never really on when we wanted to do anything but uh basically shared mercury had some friends of his that were starting up a game battles of their own and they're basically amateurs i guess you could call it they're i mean they're not like bad players or anything like that but they've never done anything competitive and they're looking to get started in like some more competitive play to keep it fun but they've never done anything like call outs. They've never had any like setups or anything like that. They, they're just guys that get on and play. Probably like a lot of you guys do. So basically what we decided to do is we're going to be merging teams, I guess. They had four guys already and then there was the three of us. And we just basically merged the teams together because I helped out, you know, Reckless and shared to... You know, I helped out the, like their DMR, their teamwork. Uh, I taught them some callouts and things, and that's basically what I'm doing with this new team. Is I'm just kind of playing as the coach right now. Uh, I went through and walked them through callouts and things like that on the MOG maps because that's what game battles is. You have to play the MOG variants, and I think it was actually in the gameplay. Like one of the guys said that I needed to go back and show them the callouts and things after that. That was actually the first match that I'd played with those guys and. It was all new people, like the guys that I'd never played with on the other team. They wanted to uh, build up some team chemistry, I guess you could say, with me. And that was our first match together, and that's why I recorded and put that up, even though it's not the best match. Just so you guys could see like how I reacted to it, I guess, and went about playing it. And I'm normally not an objective runner, even though I ran some flags in that. But I figured, you know, since they're not used to all the setups and stuff that I should probably do that when I had the opportunities and I think I capped too but basically that's what I'm doing with them is right now I'm just kinda coaching them through stuff uh, going back over callouts uh, map layouts power weapons all that kinda stuff and I'll, I'll probably be uploading some more gameplays with those guys uh, either in the MLG playlist or customs because we're not really sure how they're gonna do that team yet uh, we don't know if they're actually going to try to recruit another person to give us eight and then do like two teams of four or if they're going to do 5v5 game battles and just have like two or three alternates and you know switch out every now and then alternate between people we're not really sure how they want to do the game battles yet because we're still just going through the learning phase with them but you know I, I Reckless and Shared are kind of helping me out with it too since I kind of taught them to call outs and stuff so they can kind of help me with the newer guys at least give them the basics and then I can go a little bit more in depth whenever we need it but that's basically what we're doing with the team I'll probably post up like some customs uh, maybe some 3v3 customs with it where we're working on our team chemistry or whatever or just uh, helping them get to know the maps but that's really all I have for the team uh, the team update but uh my PS3 component cable should be here later today, so I might be putting up some sort of PlayStation 3 stuff later tonight. Not so much just to put up gameplay, but more to 
get the settings right because the PS3 component cables are a little bit different than the Xbox and it re uh, the Hopog records it in a different format so I'll have to just check and make sure that everything works the same and I'll put something up on YouTube so I can see if it works or not because before when I first started my channel there was a lot of stuff that looked good on my computer whenever I rendered it out in Vegas but it looked kind of crappy once it got up to YouTube so that's why it'll be like some sort of PS3 thing just so I can check the quality and make sure everything works fine and it'll probably be like a cl one of the PS1 classic games like maybe maybe I'll throw Resident Evil or just a little bit of gameplay from one of the older Final Fantasies or something and I'll probably put in like a newer game as well like I have Metal Gear Solid 4 and uh, Demon Souls I might play them a little bit and try to record some of that just to see if it looks good in HD as well but uh, yesterday I played with a, another subscriber I think his thing on YouTube and his gamer tag is God's gift 2412 I think sorry if I got it wrong but he got to play with me for a couple hours last night and uh, we played mostly well actually we played a little bit of everything but I also once uh, Shadow Ninja came on who's been in a lot of my gameplays a lot of you guys probably have seen him already but once he came on we played uh, quite a bit of SWAT and I actually got two pretty good games of SWAT that I might throw up uh, they're both they're both about five and a half minutes like five minutes 27 seconds is one of them and I think the other one's like 517 but they're both about five and a half minutes uh, I might upload those tomorrow probably put them all in just one video just both of them back to back in one video and one of them was my first ever SWAT perfection it's a uh, SWAT perfection on let's see what was it sword base I think and it's blue spawn and I'm a little bit defensive in there because I'd never gotten a SWAT perfection so once I kind of got like the killing frenzy I'm just holding down one area kind of patrolling back and forth I'm not moving a whole lot but that was just because I wanted to get the perfection since I'd never done a SWAT perfection before but I've got that and the other one was a SWAT match on Pinnacle and on the one on Pinnacle we had Blue Spawn and uh, Blue Spawn is notorious on Pinnacle for being the probably one of the hardest spawns in the game to fight back from especially in SWAT where it's one shot one kill but we won that match as well and I think I got like 27 of the 50 kills something like that and I got like two frenzies or something like that in it but it's basically me hanging out at the Banshee spawn and for those of you that never played like Halo 2 or saw it it's uh, what was it Ascension I think in Halo 2 it's a, it's a remake of a Halo 2 map I think it was called Ascension but it's called Banshee Spawn because on Halo 2 there used to be a Banshee out on that balcony. And basically I hold down that map the whole time because that's really the spot that you want to hold. And this is funny, I, I smacked my teammate right here and uh, I kind of bow my head in shame. But uh, I'm basically holding down Banshee the whole time and I'll kind of go over that a little bit. That's basically the strategy you need if you're playing Blue Spawn. You really need to hold down Banshee because if Red Team takes over control of that, even if it's not SWAT, if Red Team takes control over that spot, they pretty much spawn trap Blue in the bottom. And it's just the way the Reach spawns are. I don't think the spawns were that bad in Halo 2. But in Reach, the spawns on Pinnacle, they're definitely imbalanced and it definitely gives the Red Team the advantage. But I basically just sit up there on the Banshee the whole time. I move around a little bit, and I'm taking them out of red base. And uh, I basically get that many kills and that high kill streak because they really wanted Banshee. They wanted to take over Banshee and spawn trap us, so they just, like, constantly keep rushing me. And there's a really nice triple kill in there where I just kind of, like, fire three shots pretty quick and get all three guys. But I'll, I'll probably put those up sometime tomorrow. There will be commentary over them though. I didn't re live record those games. I didn't live record anything last night. But uh, there will be commentary over it. It'll either be tomorrow or Friday that I'll put that out. Uh, I'll have to think of a subject to talk about. Probably games, like the the newer games that are coming out this year that I want to play. I'll probably go over that because it'll be like a 10 minute long video. But uh, this video is coming to an end here, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay and commentary, and I'll talk to all of you guys later.